Hi everyone, this is Karthik from Design with Karthik. Welcome back to Adobe Illustrator Tips and Tricks course. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see all about round corners. Okay, round corners is a feature which is very commonly used in Adobe Illustrator, but there are so many hidden tips, hidden tricks in this round corners also. And using this just round corners, we can create any cartoon characters or any particular weird shape, anything can be created. Okay, so all the tips and tricks and techniques in round corners is what we are going to see in this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So hi guys, so this is the practice worksheet. Uh, you can download this worksheet in the description. The link is in the description. Okay, please download it so that it will be very helpful for you throughout this video. Okay, it will be easy for you to follow along throughout the video. We are going to see all the concept in round corners in this one video itself okay so please download it and let me start okay let me start with basics so at first we are going to see uh, different stages in round corners okay so the first concept is rounding all corners okay so this is the final shape which we have decided to get so for that what we should do is you have a particular shape okay so this is the particular shape whenever you select the particular shape the corner points okay you can see the small round coming around the corner point so that is all it is called as corners so just click on the round and just drag it okay so by this you can round all the corners so again you can click on this click on the path okay and if you leave it you'll go back to the originality if you just click on it it'll come back to this shape okay so whatever shape you want you can just drag it and bring back to the particular shape Okay, so this is the one method so this is the easy method which everyone follows if you want uh, if you want to have if you know the exact corner radius of this suppose let it be a 10 pixel or 10 points if you have the exact point that can also be done okay so this is the shape so just select the shape so in the transform toolbar window transform okay so in the transform window you can find this is the four uh, corners okay so at first just click on this link corner radius values okay so that all the points are linked so just click on this link and just type for example 20 pixels okay so now you see all the points has been 20 pixel you can make it 100 pixel so all the point have been 100 pixel will not possible because it itself completely made it into a radius thing okay so let us make it as a 50 pixels okay so everything has been done so if you have a ready-made value for uh, rounding the corners you can use this so next we are going to see how to round a single corners okay so same thing just select a particular shape just click on the shape so when you when you drag uh, all the points all the when you drag a particular point everything is getting uh, rounded okay but here i need to round only single corner so just click on direct selection tool okay or a shortcut is a just click on a just click on any point which you want to round it and now you can drag it okay so by this you can round any particular corner it is not if you select this point you can round this corner okay so this is how you can round a single corner okay the same technique can be followed by this logic also only thing you need to remove this link and adjust the particular point where you want to round okay the same method you can use it by this transform window also for example i want this point alone should be in 20 pixels so what i'm doing is i'm just removing this link and clicking on this point into a 20 pixel okay so now you see this point alone is 20 pixels okay so this is how you can work with this transform window also okay so now i'm going to round multiple corners so earlier first thing we have seen how to round all the corners in second stage we have seen how to round single corners now we are going to round multiple corners so same thing very simple technique just select the shape just click on direct selection tool and select any point any two point just click on first point press shift and select next point okay so now you can round this both point okay same thing select this point select this point shift press select both the points okay so this works in other another another way also what it is not that you can select only two points you can select three points also and you can adjust it for example i'm selecting this point pressing shift selecting this point pressing shift selecting this point so now if you see except this point other three has been rounded okay so this is how the rounding multiple corners work so it is all it is up to you to select how many points you want to do it okay so now coming into uh, there are different types of round corners it, the round corner doesn't mean doesn't meant always to be round okay so for example at first i'll make all these three things to be a rounded thing okay i'll just select the shape make it round select the shape 
make it round select the shape make it round okay so these are the three different round corners available so this is the common thing which you have seen so this for, for that for getting this round corner what you should do is just click on any point okay just press option just press option click on it so you'll get different different round uh, corners okay so again you can adjust it okay it is up to your creativity to play around it okay same thing same technique just click on the shape just click on a particular point just press option just once you click it will you will get this round type under clicking you will get the straight line okay and again you can adjust it okay so this can be achieved with this transform window also you can see you can see the corner type here this is a round corner type okay so this is an inverted round and this is a chamfer okay if you click on chamfer you will get it okay so you can place multiple way one end i want chamfer another end i want yeah arc type inverted round whatever it is it is up to you to create create it okay so this is how different this is what i call it as a different types of round corners okay so in this these are the basics of round corners okay so first we have seen rounding all corners second we have seen how to round single corners and how to round multiple corners and different types of round corners all these three all these four things can be done in the shape also or also or are using a transform window also but during the flow when you are working around adobe illustrator most people will be using around the shape and transform window very rarely people will be using it okay so these are the basics of round corners hope it is very clear for you now we are moving to uh, some different we are going to create some shapes or we are going to see create some custom font or how you can make a, a particular font to a modern font using this round corner okay so this is what this is a particular font the font name is smooth circulars okay this font looks good but i i want to make somewhat uh, minor tweak to this font okay so i throw this font look like a custom made font okay so for that i'm just expanding it okay and i'm just making this font as a outline i'm just uh, making this font as a shape okay so i'm just clicking on create outline so now individual everything has been made it a shape so now it is up to me to play, play, play around each and every corner it is up to you i'm just placing i'm just playing around my own creativity you can play as per your wish okay so just a minor tweaks here and there okay that that entire look and feel of the font looks different okay you can see the r how clean the shape looks it gives that uh, it gives the sharpness look to it even though the font is circular font the sharpness look has been achieved just with the minor tweaks in the round corners technique okay just look at the h okay so now the entire font uh, looks customized it looks uh, something different okay so if the any if in any logo design if a people is asking a custom made font type uh, logo or they, they want just their brand name with some customized font just choose one font and play around the corners it will automatically look like a customized font okay so this is the technique how you can use round corners for a uh, for creating a custom font okay so this is the thing Okay, so next we are going to make this shield with this just uh, with the just round corner technique okay just with one single round corner technique we are going to make this shield okay not anything else okay so at first i have drawn this hexagon okay so first we want a inverted uh, corner here so at first i am selecting this point i'm just selecting this point and i am just dragging it and just clicking on alt okay so i got this inverted corner okay so now this has to be flowing straightly okay so i'm just selecting this point and selecting this point so multiple corners i have selected and i'm just dragging it so that's your shield has been created this apply color so that's your shield has been created so just it is up to you just pick the right for right point right corner and choose the right corner type you will get the desired shape okay so you can play around it you can take any shape and play around it okay so this is also another thing i'm just going to create this cartoon character with just the stars and round corners technique of course i need to draw a little bit of circle there for the eyes that i'll draw it separately but how i am going to do it is okay so i'm just selecting multiple points here this point this point and this point and i'm just making it as a round and i'm just making it as a inverted corner i'm just changing the corner type okay now the shape has been created if you flip this the shape has been created okay so now we have flipped this uh, star and we got this particular shape okay so just apply it 
and for eyes you can just draw a circle just with the round corner we have created this shape okay so it is up to your own creativity you can start exploring it draw draw one particular shape in each and every corner do some tweaks in the round corners okay make it an inverted round make it a arc make it a chamfer whatever it is just try it you will come to know you will find out some different shapes okay so uh, hope you all uh, enjoy this video okay please download this practice file and practice along the video okay so it will be very, very much helpful for you when you are doing it in a when you are doing it uh, in the next time okay uh, so thank you so much thank you so much for your time for watching this video patiently okay so hope you all like this series I hope you all like this series of video in case if you have any doubts or in case you want any other different types of videos please leave it in the comment section i'll get back to you soon okay thank you see you soon in the next video